The 69th annual Free Care Fund Telethon is this Thursday, and all this week we are featuring the stories of children whose lives have been saved thanks to the care they received at UPMC Children's Hospital. And today we meet one of the youngest little heroes. Lindsay Ward has Rosie's story. Amanda McQuillan and Adam Rivetta are proud parents of two little boys, three-year-old Ezra and 18-month-old Winston. So when they found out bows and flowers would likely cover their latest edition, they were surprised. Super surprised just because, like, you know, after two boys, you're just kind of, like, expecting another boy. And whenever it was a girl, I think we both were shocked and like taken back, but we were we were very excited. They say everything went smoothly from the pregnancy to the birth of their baby girl Rosie in July. But when they came home from the hospital, the initial time spent at their Coriopolis house as a family of five was cut short. When she was less than two weeks old, Amanda began to notice something was off about Rosie while giving her a bath. She was just twitching, like it was kind of something little in her arm, nothing too crazy, just a little twitch. The couple brought their newborn to the pediatrician where the twitching stopped. But when they came back home, Rosie's condition worsened. They packed what they could and took their daughter to the ER at UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. I think at that time we were trying to convince ourselves better safe than sorry, better to go in and get it checked out and then say everything's fine and just come on home like it's a normal day. So what they thought was going to be at most a one day visit turned out to be a 22 day stay at the hospital. During that time, Rosie had numerous tests, including an MRI. Her brain and the lining of her brain was swollen. So if you had acute meningitis, you know, the brain swelling is you know, swollen, and if you have acute encephalitis, your brain is swollen. Unfortunately, she had both. At the hospital, Rosie continued to have seizures and had to be put on a ventilator. Her tiny, seven-pound body covered in tubes and wires. For the couple, every day was excruciating. Amanda stayed with Rosie while her husband, Adam, travels back and forth to keep their family updated. Fortunately, like, we had a lot of great doctors to, like, really kind of give us things or give me things in layman's terms and also have her to kind of start to really start to explain things so that, you know, um, mm -hmm. kind of make you feel a little bit better about things. Over time, Rosie's condition improved and after several procedures, she was no longer seizing and she was breathing on her own. But with weeks of uncertainty and the stress of the situation weighing heavily on the couple, it was the kindness of a UPMC worker offering to handle Rosie's appointments that brought Amanda to tears. Um, you know, that just, it just made the difference because we went through so much and we were so overwhelmed. So just having somebody to say, I can take this weight off of you is huge. Now at four months old, Rosie is doing well. She's on anti-seizure medicine and is only getting stronger. As for Amanda and Adam, they say the support they received is something that will stick with them for life. Lindsay Ward, KDKA News. Oh. Wow. You know, for them to trust their instinct too. You know, they have two other kids and it's right. a big deal to take your kids to the ER to, you know, to go with your gut and, and go in and so thankful that she was able, the family was able to get that care. Yeah, and once again, it brings us back to what a fantastic resource Children's Hospital is in our area that we were able to tell a story like that. All right, well, you can make sure that you help as well. Kids just like Rosie get the care that they need by donating to the Free Care Fund. That's during our 69th annual telethon. That's this Thursday from 4 until 8 p.m. right here on KDKA.